you like our content, please like, subscribe, and click the notification bell to get alerts when we introduce new videos. Welcome to the demonstration series for the Ruckus Smart Zone Controller based on a high scale deployment of the version 5.2 release. The videos in this series will show you the basic configuration of many aspects of the controller. In this video, I'll provide an example of how to register an ICX switch to the Smart Zone Controller for management and configuration. So let's get started. As you can see, I'm already logged into a high scale instance of the Virtual Smart Zone Controller. You can also see that this instance is running version 5.2.0.0.699, or simply referred to as 5.2. Now switches are managed from the Switches tab on the left side pane of the Smart Zone dashboard. Switches, very similar to APs, are managed in groups. These are called switch groups. There is a staging group where all new switches are placed until they are moved to a different switch group and a switch is not fully connected to the Smart Zone controller until it's moved out of the staging group. Before we begin configuration, let's review some of the requirements for an ICX to be managed by Release 5.2 Smart Zone controller. ICX switches require a minimum of Release 8.0.90A to connect to the Smart Zone 5.2 controller. When running the minimum ICX version with this release, only a limited set of features will be available. For all currently supported configuration and management capabilities, the ICX must be running release 8.0.92 or later. Let's get to the configuration. There are two methods for connecting an ICX switch to the controller. The first is DHCP, where the DHCP server sends option 43 and optionally option 60 to inform the ICX switch of the smart zone controller's IP address or fully qualified domain name. But that doesn't make much fun for a demonstration. So we'll configure it with the second option, which is the manual CLI method. Here I have an ICX that I just booted from factory defaults and logged into. First I'll run the show version command. It's running version 8.0.92 as you can see here. Next I'll verify that it has an IP address and gateway configured on it with the show IP interface and show IP route commands. Now to provide the switch with the IP address of the controller, we'll use the manager active dash list command. We enter the command, followed by the IP address of the server, and the switch will immediately begin attempting to contact the controller. If we view the log, we can see error messages with error code 401, which in the case of ICX registration, means it has contact with the controller, but is in a pending state. An ICX will stay in this state until it's moved out of the staging group to any other configured switch group. Next, let's take a look at the output of the show manager status command. You can see here that the switch knows which IP address to use to reach the controller, but is in a query state that is currently in progress and a response has not been received. Now let's go back to the smart zone and move the switch to a switch group I've already created. We do this by selecting the switch and clicking the move button. In the pop-up we select the destination zone and click OK. Then we have to confirm the move. Back at the switch CLI you'll see a message indicating the switch is connected to the smart zone controller. And if we run the show manager status command again, we can see the state is SSH connected and all tunnels are established with their details displayed. At this point, the switch will adopt any zero touch group level configurations and maintain a management connection to the controller. Zero touch configurations will be covered in another demonstration. This concludes the demonstration on registering an ICX switch to the smart zone high scale controller running release 5.2 for management and configuration. Thanks for taking the time to view this demonstration.